William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now.
Welcome back, Captain Blast Goldfish. Howdy, cowboy. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Well, you're scaring Max. That's not right. Sorry, pal. Didn't know he'd flip out like that. That his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not his son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war. A miracle, he called it. They had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Well, he'd make a pretty good father for a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. The wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. So he blames himself? I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Maybe check on Max. See if he's okay. Lost toy. Well, I found you. Keys to the archives. You got them? Yes, I think so. Perfect. Just gosh dang perfect. What do you got there? Dog tags. Wing Commander Fergus Reed of the Royal Air Force. Took those off of his dead body. Wanted to return him to the RAF, but then there was no RAF. Best damn pilot I ever saw in a hell of a soldier. I'm not cut out for this, you know? Cut out for what? This. Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. You remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. I just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed. He wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! This you did! You left the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know when mistakes were made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear?
was a pine cone and a box of matches. Thank you, William. Give me some time to analyze this. I think I'm onto something. Find what you were looking for in the archives? Yep. Got something. Ube concrete. The essential building material of the Reich. It's based on a dot issue technology. It's almost perfect, but it's deteriorating through time, developing mold. Someone is tempering with a mix, someone who knows its secrets. I analyzed it and found a trace of this type of limestone that exists only in northern Croatia. Now, look at this. The name Set Roth. It appears three times in dot e shoot documents. According to official records, he's been detained in 1941 in Wuj and sent off to a forced labor camp in Belice in northern Croatia. Now, this is where things get interesting. The labor camp excavates limestone from a quarry for a manufacture of Ube concrete. I believe this is the place where we'll find Seth Roth, a living member of Dot Egypt. The problem is, there are so many unknowns. This is an old man, chances are he's dead already. We can't assault a site of this magnitude and hope to locate him before the whole damn Nazi army arrives. What is the plan? Someone needs to go in there and find him. Go undercover. <laughs> Any volunteers? You ready for this, Blaskovich? So stupid. How oh, arrogant. No one is ever ready for something like this. 